training strategies where data recorders, for example, are being used to identify outliers in the pilot's performance, be it in operations, exercises, using AI techniques to determine the strong and weak, weak points in terms of maneuvering or overall orientation, uh, airmanship, etc. Another major area is to have an automated threat analysis based and AI and decision models for fighter controllers on our uh, on our uh, controlling nodes, which is in the process of being developed. Again, this improves the situational awareness and assists in decision making as a tool for the fighter controllers. We will also have AI assisted next gen technologies employed for threat monitoring in our captive networks and our network upgrades which are ongoing. This enables software-defined networking, aids intrusion detection, prevention, customizes tweaking of firewall on the run, and routes and aids traffic engineering solutions which were uh, not possible earlier. For the future, and before I go to the future, if I have given you an impression that we have done some great job in AI enabled in the Air Force, I think we have just scratched the surface. And the potency of this technology is so high that we probably are already late and for the industry, my main message is that it is time that we start really proactively in this field. And for the future, the areas of immediate priority for the Air Force, it is both in the operational training methodology and operational capability enhancement. Domains of manned and manned teaming, a concept that we are already talking and quite advanced in planning, weapon target pairing, target prioritization logics, battlefield awareness systems, blue and red force tracking, swarming applications, data fusion, intelligence fusion, and a robust decision support uh, system. These are huge areas of focus for our immediate future and is an area that the industry uh, can look into straight away. In the area of training, possibilities are equally as exciting and, and again of very important immediate uh, solutions. To simulate the real world at low cost and train the pilot against exponential combinations of cockpits and combat scenarios. So what the AI can be used to train, uh, no other system can, uh, can be used to generate the kind of possibilities. 